So when you think of art, maybe pumpkins are not the first thing that comes to your mind, but one man from Cumberland County continues to carve his way to success with his incredible pumpkin displays. I mean, just take a look at some of the ones that you're seeing on your screen right now. Pretty awesome. Okay, so that man is Danny Kissel, and he was kind enough to take some time out of his very busy schedule to join us today. So good morning, Danny. Thanks good so morning. much for being here. Yeah. All right, so you have some really cool displays. I mean, these guys, we're going to talk about them, but people may recognize you from all the incredible things that you've done over your oh. career, uh, but you do work here back home in construction. Yes. All right, so is that what originally motivated you to get into a pumpkin carving career? If I can build this, mm -hmm. I can carve a pumpkin? I had seen pumpkin carving on television about 2009, and it was something completely new to me. I had airbrushed for years. I had done construction, obviously. So sculpting was something outside of high school that I'd never done. So I bought some pumpkins and here we are today. Why not? <laughs> Why not? And I love the lighting and tell us a little bit about the technique here. You've got a lot going on. Mm -hmm. These were actually, actually both created with clay ribbon tools. One of the hardest things I had in the beginning when I started sculpting was learning the tools to try to figure out nobody really told you what they were. There wasn't a lot of information out there, but they're clay ribbon tools. And that's how you can get these little sculptured textures wow. and everything in them. This pumpkin's not gutted or anything. I just sculpted the face of it. So it will actually last longer than this one because there's not as much exposed surface. But this is kind of a new twist on the jack-o'-lantern I've been playing with this year. Oh kind of going back to the roots. Do you spray or do anything on them to make them last a little longer or you just let them be? The only thing you can do is add water to them. Mm -hmm. they're, they're like sponges. They need to absorb as much water as possible. You can, people talk about smearing Vaseline on it. That doesn't work. Uh, you can do a little bit of everything you want to, but what I recommend is keep them cool and shaded. And then in the evenings, whenever you know, nobody's walking by the house or anything, you can stick it in a bucket of water. Just overnight for a few hours, set it back out. The pores will open up and it'll absorb that water again uh -huh. and it'll kind of rejuvenate it. Okay. But you also want to look for good stems. You can see this stem here is almost oh, destroyed. Right. This one, all the green that's in here still has nutrients. So it's going to supply that pumpkin with, you know, energy it needs to, that's how they make them till, you know, Thanksgiving, gotcha. late into the fall. So if you cut the top of it off to make your jack-o'-lantern, that stops this flow of nutrients. Huh. So if you cut the bottom or cut a hole in the back, this still feeds the pumpkin, even though it's technically off the vine okay. and dead at that point. What look a at, great look point. at all the, the tips. tips. I love it. Okay, well, he's the guy to trust when it comes to tips because you have an impressive resume. Um, you have mm -hmm. appeared on, I want to make sure I get the name correctly, Several outra competitions, yeah, right? Outrageous Pumpkins mm -hmm. on the Food Network. Correct. Um, that, I'm sure, was a really, really cool experience. How long ago? When was that? I started, the first time I was on was the Halloween Wars. That mm -hmm. was years and years ago. Uh, I was on Outrageous 1, Outrageous Season 1, and I was the champion of that. Cool. That was in 2020, and now I'm back for the All-Star version, and I'm teamed up with my partner, Ethan, who you just saw walk off the scene in this picture. <laughs> uh, he's a art student from, I think, Kansas. A uh, great wow. little guy. But All right, so what's at stake with the All-Star yeah. competition? The All-Star competition is $50,000. Whoa, so. okay. you got our attention. <laughs> All right. Well, obviously, we wish you so much luck. We know this is your busy season, but people have a chance to see you here at home, too. Yes, I'll be at the Shippensburg Fairgrounds this weekend, Saturday and Sunday, uh, live carving on Saturday, and I'll actually have David Smith with me as well from Outrageous Pumpkins All-Stars. Oh, well, That's going to be awesome. All right, mm -hmm. so... You know, everyone at home maybe doesn't have the exact skill that you have, let's let's be honest, but let's just say we have our standard pumpkin carving tools at home, right? Yeah. You buy the kit. What do you think is the number one tip that you can give people for carving a pumpkin? The biggest thing you're going to do when you do your jack-o'-lanterns is you have to stay within this small section. People make a smile that goes the whole way around and you won't see it from the front mm -hmm. when the light shines through. So you have to stay within the smaller section of the front. The, the smaller the pumpkin face is, actually the better it will look at nighttime. Okay. Mm. And then the other thing I do is after taking a, I use a little saw blade so I can make little intricate turns and stuff like that. But if you take a paring knife and you cut in a little bit of an angle in the back, you can cut loose all the little loose hanging parts inside to really clean your design up and make it a lot cleaner than your neighbors. Nice. Wow. All right, mm -hmm. I like that part. And Better one last tip that he was telling us, um, <laughs> if you're just the type of person that whenever you put a pumpkin out, an animal will eat it. Um, you did say yes. if, if it's the squirrels, put yeah. some peanut butter in the shape of the jack-o'-lantern that you want. 
and there's a good chance the squirrels may make carve it for you. Bite They'll start the, the job for you. Yeah, we love it. <laughs> that's oh. what I like. All the glory, none of the work. Um, so, or the mess. Or the mess, true. That's their <laughs> mess to clean up, right? Point. All right, well, Danny, thank you so much for joining us today. No this problem. is really, really awesome. And remember, you can catch him in the current season of Outrageous Pumpkins on the Food Network. $50,000 at stake. Woo. Come on, we got a root for Danny. And this is the final round. This oh is. Gosh. All right. Wow. Woohoo. Okay. All right, so we'll let you know what happens. And of course, you can see him this weekend at the Shippens for Pumpkin Festival. All the information you need is on our website, fox43.com. Danny, thanks again. Yeah. Thank you.